Hello everyone and welcome back for another video. So today we're doing a full uh, wash on the car, so paint and wheels. So we're going to take a look in a minute how dirty the car really looks. Um, I'm going to speak over the video, so I will do a bit more of explanations about the products that I'm using. Um, and that will conclude the video. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and enjoy the video. So we are starting with cleaning the wheels first with the Valet Pro Bilberry wheel cleaner. Uh, it's a red cherry wheel cleaner. It looks quite nice. I like the red color of it, but I just soak the wheels with it and I let it sit for a few minutes. It's a very good wheel cleaner. One of the best I tried and you can download it. So it will last you a pretty long time. After I take my tire uh, clean from Gion and, and spray it onto the tire, uh, I used a bit too much in this video but it doesn't really matter uh, after that i take my wheel brush from aliexpress and uh, agitate the tires with it and you can see there is a lot of dirt in them uh, that is coming out it's a very small tire brush it cost it costed me 50 cents so it's very cheap and it comes with two tire brushes so it will last you also a pretty long time and it's not too hard so it won't damage your rims uh, after i take my brush and clean the little gaps on the wheels i made sure the tire filling cap is clean and uh, the little gaps in the wheels and after that i take my um, wheel woolly and make sure i clean behind the brake caliper the openings in the wheels are pretty big so i can get away with just taking a mitt and uh, put it in the openings of the rims um, which makes it make sure my my inner barrels are also clean um, especially on open wheels it's very important to me that they are also clean because if you look into the rim and it's full of brake dust over there it looks uh, ugly so it's pretty that important the inner barrel is also cleaned after that i just spray it off with a high pressure washer i have a karger k5 um, not the best pressure washer in the world but it does the job so overall i'm quite happy with it Starting to foam the car with um, an MGGC snow foam lens, also from AliExpress, and an Auto Bright Maggie foam. Uh, Maggie foam is a pretty thick snow foam. Um, if you put too much in the in your uh, snow foam bottle, it will soak the car with a uh, immense foam, not will run off. So don't put too much in it. Also, don't never use it in the direct sunlight. When when it does dry on the car, it will leave um, marks, and it's a pain in the ass to get it off. So yeah, I had it once before when my neighbor came came outside to talk with me, and I forgot that the foam was still on the car. And uh, yeah, so I uh, put a lot of effort in afterwards to get it off, and uh, it's it was not a uh, a nice task to do. So. Uh, but you can see it's a very thick foam um, it runs off quite nice and it does the job when you spray it off your, the car comes out very clean it, it removes a lot of the uh, dust that is uh, and filth of course that is sitting on the to the paint and also the big uh, chunks so I let it sit for I think seven minutes eight minutes or so and then I sprayed it off with a pressure washer and uh, yeah. You can also see when I spray it off, it, it's quite a thick snow foam. 
Afterwards, I'm shampooing the car with Semper from uh, Labo Cosmetica, which is one of the best shampoos I ever tried. It's up, to, up there with the best three shampoos that I ever tried, um, which is Gion Bait, then Semper, of course, the one that I'm using right now. And then we also have Blue Car Shampoo from uh, Adams, which is, which is also one of the best shampoos I ever tried. Um, and and now in this uh, clip, I'm using the Semper in combination with the, the little wash mitt from Microfiber Madness, the IncrediPad, which is very good. It holds a lot of water and the filth is coming out of the pad really easily. When I'm cleaning the car, I'm using the two bucket system and I'm cleaning from top to bottom, switching the pad again, top to bottom and dunk it into the rinse bucket. And afterwards, I put it in a bucket, of course, with the fresh water in it. So my dirt is always in one bucket and the fresh water is in the other one. And uh, that's the process that I repeat all the time. Afterwards, I'm rinsing the car down, of course, that the shampoo is coming off. And you can see the hydrophobicity from the, from the car is um, disappearing. But I don't think I will uh, apply a new wax on the car because the car is going in a few weeks. Um, and then another one is coming. So I'm going to make a video on that, how I protect my new car. Um, but that's something that is coming soon. Afterwards, I'm drying the car with the Gion Silic, Dry, Silic Dryer XL, um, which is my favorite towel. It cleans the car with one towel um, without any problems, and it can hold a lot of water. Um, so that's the most important thing. And that's the end of the cleaning process from this week. It's, it was a rapid clean because I had to go and I didn't have that much time. But you can see the car looks really nice. It's an awesome color. Uh, it comes out pretty nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, when you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Um, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I see you guys on the next one. Bye.